Mobile Animators and welcome back to my channel. Today you guys requested a bow shooting tutorial and boy I have something in stock for you. If you guys want to suggest your tutorials the best way to do that is my discord server as you also have the option to vote on the suggested tutorials. The most voted tutorial gets featured on the channel this is how I got the bow tutorial. So I hope you guys are ready and let's shoot ourselves into the tutorial. That was horrible I know but I don't care. So here we have a Steve holding a bow. I usually shoot my bow with the left hand so I hold the bow in my left hand and I pull it with, the, with my right hand. I'm doing that in the same way right now. This guy is holding a bow and I usually want to keep the custom rotation point in here because this is where the most mass is concentrated in, in this point right here. I don't know much about professional bow shooting, I've only shot bow professionally twice in my life, but I'm pretty sure people shoot bows from the side like this. If not anything else, it's way easier than trying to shoot it like this. We're gonna make him turn sideways first. So we're gonna lean this leg backwards, lean this leg forwards, and just try to make them both on the same height. So now I'm gonna move Steve forwards and sink the legs. Okay, also rotate Steve sideways now and adjust both legs to be doing that. Now this leg would get bent down like so, and of course move it down to the ground so we always know where the leg was. Sink the leg to be on the same spot. You can help yourself by raising the leg up, just don't, don't forget to bring it down because that's something I like to do a lot. Okay, now we're gonna bring this leg up. This guy is gonna be rotated sideways already. We sink the leg, okay, maybe make this a bit slower and give it an ease out or something so it slowly stops. Maybe make this part slower in general. These could have an ease in, so a slow start. Would be interesting to give like a quiver on this guy's back. Not because it helps, but because it just looks way more badass. Okay, so this leg is going to be brought back down and it's going to be pretty close to the original. Oh, also put the position back down. I remember it. <laughs> and of course, add it in between, ease in, ease out. And I have this. Putting him in a archer stance, as you would say. The body is going to be turned slightly away. It shouldn't be facing this way, it should be facing the other way, slightly. And turn the upper body, rotate it down, bend it up like this. And even bend it backwards a bit, and maybe rotate a bit more. So it's like getting that archer stance body thing. And this should be like ease in and out cubic or something. Let's make a keyframe at the center and make the first part ease in back and the second part ease out cubic or something. Okay, yeah, so it has that little anticipation as he's trying to rotate the body. This is good. The head is going to turn like so, sideways a bit, give it a transition. Uh, it should adjust sooner, probably. So like this. Mess around with the keyframes until you get the head to be looking at the same point all the time. So basically, okay, we have the first step. Now you gotta do the arms. Cross for skin. I hope I still have it. Oh yeah, Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this isn't the main point. I just want I just want to make this more interesting. Just because we can, not because we need to, just because we can. And this face is cursed. We're animating Katniss now. So the left arm would be going up like so. Try to get the right rotation point and stuff, you know? I think the skin is meant to be an Alex. Oh yeah, that's better. Try to get the rotations right. And this should be now fully extended. We gotta make it have some variety, so maybe add more keyframes going up and down, you know, so she's constantly breathing, move the body. That's always something you have to do to make the animation better. We're not gonna make her aim because that's gonna take too long but essentially this person needs to grab the bow and I want to adjust the bow now but I can't do that because I don't know how it's turned here so I'm gonna select the bow's keyframe and rotate it like this and this right arm we're going to cheat a bit and we're going to move it forward. This of course needs some transitions. And in the center here, it's going to be bent. And the first one's gonna have an ease in, the second one's gonna have an ease out. So it's like this. Okay, maybe this whole thing could be a bit faster, like... So it's like this. And this left arm, maybe, instead of going down, can now go up because the body is going down by itself. Overlap that, move it up more, so it's like... Countering the effect. You see this? This is a nice wobble. You have to overlap the keyframes. So let's pull this arm back and uh, That's it. The rest of the body parts should still be wiggling as usually. So let's make some idle motion for the body here The arm that's holding a bow should be going inwards a bit more because you're pulling on the bow Which means this arm is now getting the force of being dragged backwards with the bow So at least make it obvious that this arm is affecting this arm I could say this is a nice pullback, and then we're just gonna wait for a while, so she's aiming now. <coughs> oh, bless me. And this head is going to adjust the position, so like, huh? 
And this arm, okay, of course, is still just waiting. Maybe make it move a bit. Move the right one down, move this one up. So it just like turns a bit and it stays on the same place. And now the arms are going to have a, their keyframes fairly close together. As the right arm is going to let go, the left arm is going to feel some impact. So they shouldn't have too much overlap so it can start the motion at the same time. So we need to animate the bow now. The bow should have a keyframe here. And as of the newest Minimator versions, we can animate the items here. Custom item slot. Before you had to make individual items and then make each item visible or invisible, but now we can animate the item slot, which is very great and I love this new feature. Thank you, Nimi. You are our savior. But the bows are spread so far apart. Ah! There we go. Make the transition instant and as the arm pulls to this point or something, make a keyframe and change it to the second bow. So basically it looks like it's pulling on it. If this transition was not instant, the item would basically go scrolling through all of them until it got to this point. It needs to be instant if you want to do it this way. And at this point, make a new keyframe for the next one. Whoa. And then at this point, the arm is going to let go, and this arm is going to go backwards. And the body, of course, is going to feel that impact. So, like, um, at this point, hot, the body is over. Okay, let's go. It needs to be rotated in that direction a bit more. And the other arm, okay, this should be like a stronger transition, maybe. And the other arm is going to try to adjust all that with some overlap, because it is the one holding the bow. Adjust to that position to go back in the same place. Try to sink the head so it always looks at the same point, otherwise it's gonna look weird. And at this point it let go, so the bow should have this uh, next keyframe, and it's going to be the first bow once again. Whoa. Oh man, this looks cool at the arrow shot, like wow, I sometimes surprise myself. So then we add a special block, which is an arrow. For some reason an arrow is a block or something. And position the arrow right here actually, and scale it down a bit, so because it's literally huge. Maybe you rotate it slightly so it's facing the same direction as the bow. And make a keyframe somewhere, make it invisible, so the arrow is going to appear at this point. Or if you're more comfortable, you could use the arrow as an item, so basically you could use this one. I don't know why I'm pulling on my screen, you can't see the screen on my camera. Dumb. So this arrow basically just make it fly out, make it fast, because arrows are freaking deadly. Do not play with bows without supervision, kids. You can also animate this arrow, uh, rotate sideways and stuff, but I recommend you use this one. This one's rotation is adjusting to the position of the other one, so if you rotate this one, it's always going to be relevant to where the arrow is facing. Now of course, if you want to go over the top, you have to Oops, didn't want to do that. You should animate the character moving left and right a bit as well. And as you do that, adjust both legs. And of course, they need to have the same transition. So ease in and out on these, ease in and out on these. So it looks like she is kind of wobbling as a character. And then when he goes back, just make some random wiggles, you know? So the legs are really always on the same point on the ground. Just try to sink the legs as much as possible. But it is worth it at the end, because it looks great. Mwah. 10 out of 10, love it. You basically get some nice character wiggles and it makes them feel more alive and mobile. If you keep your legs stationary, the character really is only moving the upper parts and the legs are completely still. You're not giving them freedom. It makes them look more stiff. Honestly, when you do something, you're always slightly wobbling on your, on your legs at least. And then as it shoots, we can make a small step. Now that's what I'm thinking. Maybe make them turn like that and just bend it slightly as you're moving it. Rotate outward like this. Like so. And then at this point, we still need to add some impact on the steps. So just um, make another keyframe here where everything is identical. Just turn the character down slightly or so. It's just like. But it still has some sort of impact. Okay, this could be easy in and out. It's all in the detail, I'm telling you, really. You think people don't notice, but they do. So basically, we have this. Oh. And then afterwards, you, you would of course make your character take the step down, bring the legs down, and body up. So basically, this is the bow shooting. Huh? Pew! Come on, I was too early. Pew! Damn it. Pew! Okay, there we go. This is obviously not the only method, and I'm not limiting you to just one method. But if you don't like the way the bow is being pulled backwards, pixelated and stuff, you could A, create your own item sheets and make multiple stages, so the bow pulling back is even more smooth, because you can do that. Or you could try something else, and I'm just gonna make this bow invisible. Uh, use a bow rig. Now, this is obviously not my rig, because I'm too lazy to actually make a bow rig. This is Anxious Cynic's bow rig. It's the first bow rig I found, and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. And then at this point, you can animate the strings being pulled backwards. So, sync with the arm, turn them outwards, scale the Y up. 
so we need to apply the same transition to those so it's synced best. This arm is still not grabbing so I kind of want to fix that. This actually pulling on the bow. If you want to avoid stiffness like this kind of looks funny. Uh, it's touching the bow with this corner so we should probably sync that so this corner is still touching the bow. Like it's actually holding on to that bow because it looks way more realistic. Slight details I'm telling you. And now of course we need the arrow. I think he also made an arrow rig for this. Oh yeah he did. Thank you Cynic. Turn it like this. Move the arrow back. Oh let's not complain. Work with what we have. Whoop. And then as he shoots the arrow goes bye bye and the strings need to go backwards. Oh we have our old arrow still here. Oof. Oops. And at this point the arrow is already far ahead so the string should probably basically it should go back down to normal. So I'm gonna copy the first frames because I don't know exactly what normal was and maybe give it an ease out. And at these points the arrow should maybe go inwards a bit. This point they should go back to being normal and B should have an ease in and out. So basically you make this little... So this is your bow shooting tutorial right here. Adding the character, adding the bow. Two methods, but obviously there's more, so pick anything you want. But that is roughly it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope bow shooting will not be a problem anymore. Now, if the video was helpful, you can drop a like to show your support, and also click the bell for more content, because I post every two days, and there's plenty of content to enjoy. Now, thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay sharp.